Hello, to my little time talk. How y'all doing today? Yo, it don't matter. Come and sit down and shut the door. We talk about Drake, Kim, and Megan Thee Stallion. For one, what's going on between Drake and Kim? We all know Kanye West hates Kim. Now, Kim can do whatever she wants because she is now legally single. She don't need to be stomping for this man that literally sacrificed his whole life for her. <laughs> but I do want to say this. Kim actually accused Drake of threatening not just Kanye, but her whole family a few years ago. And now they're hugging and best friends. Drake is even deleting pictures of Taylor Swift, who as we all can see, Kim can't stand. He's deleting pics from Taylor Swift from his Instagram. Why, why, why? I don't know, but what's the weirdest thing? Kim taking shots at Meg the Stallion. Now, before y'all say I'm just doing stuff, I'm not the only one that noticed. Y'all, what am I talking about? Kim has been, let's look at this article, branded as problematic. Finally, finally. Kim Kardashian problematic? What do you mean, right? And irresponsible after she used Drake's song accusing Meg the Stallion of lying about being shot in an Instagram post. Woo, it's a lot. One person even said, there's no excuse for Kim here. I love Kim, this is not a quote, but she has to be more responsible. People and people that are saying otherwise is weird. Y'all, let's just actually put this in. I'm gonna get you onto the story, but let me get you the, the cliff notes and then we're getting to the story. Kim put Drake's song Circle Local up. As you know, there was a big fear because people thought that Drake, myself included, was subbing Meg the Stallion, right? Kim Kardashian, and y'all, this is my whole issue. Let's actually pick a lane. What is she? Is she a women's right advocate? Is she a prison reform advocate? Is she a social justice warrior? Is she an aspiring lawyer? Or is she just a fame hungry girl with a mom that has a brilliant businessman who encouraged all her daughters to date as rich and successful as they could for a come up. She fell into Kanye West, uh, uh, um, Chris Jenner's dream, right? That catapulted her to heights of dizzying fame and uh, notoriety along with her mother who helped allegedly orchestrate her home movie, moving that money around to jump into even bigger money circles into which they base their income. I can honestly say, at least in my mind, if Kris Jenner did not exist, there would be no Kim Kardashian, period, point blank. The fact that we take someone who won the genetic lottery, right? Who won the surgeon's lottery? Who won um, uh, 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 the marriage lottery, right? It was a lot of dumb luck, of course, with her talent and gifts. And like she said, bragging about being a shape shifter, which to me sounds like bragging about being a narcissist because only narcissistic people are true shape shifters. You cannot become whatever anybody wants to see whatever they see is a false self and you know most shape sisters go crazy because they forget who they were without shifting into someone else but that's not it right it's at this point of kim has put in too much money and too much time trying to convince her she is smart and educated and well-read and if that's the way that you want to be presented then that's the way we're going to take you. And that's the responsibility you have. Let's get into this article, right? Last week, Drake came under fire when he appeared to accuse Meg of lying about being shot. Now, I do want to say with this whole Tory Lane to angry leprechaun thing, I am not a Tory Lane fan. I have listened to Meg's attorney, Alex Sparrow, actually give the receipts. A lot of y'all going to be sitting there with egg on your face. Tory Lanez is lying. People believe him because they want to believe that Megan is lying. They want to believe Megan is lying because they rem she reminds them of the woman. They've got too much mouth, too much arrogance, too much talent, too much beauty, too much pride, and too much believe in herself. They remind them, men and women, Megan reminds them of a woman that they want to be, they want, they're desperate to see humbled. They do, they do, that's all it is. They want to see Megan humbled. It 
offends them that someone that they see as so fundamentally lacking could dare have self-respect, could dare be a victim, could dare be worthy of um, being treated with respect. Oddly enough, those people that intersect are the same people that believe the Kardashians need pity, need sympathy, need empathy, need to be put up on a pedestal. Oddly enough, those two camps actually do intersect. Anyway, right? Drake's corny ass and 21 Savage target Megan in the Circle Local and track on their joint album, Her Loss, right? Drake said this be lie about getting shot, but she's still a salient. She don't even got get the joke, but she's still smiling. Now, let me tell y'all something. Every single time I hear Drake come after a woman, all I hear was, oh, poor little Tink Tink, she ain't give you some. I don't care if Drake got a line of groupies up and please check them for IDs from what I've heard about Drake. He's always going to hate on a woman that didn't give him play. Unfortunately, it seems to be a lot of black women that he fetishizes that doesn't give him a lot of play. Why do I say fetishize? I'll get into that in a different video. Just keep that word in your mouth, right? They said the line sparked immediate backlash from many criticizing Drake for fueling a ridiculous conspiracy theory about Megan. All right. Now, here's the sick part. Two things. One, Megan's attorney says they actually have proof. Tory called from jail. He sent messages. He literally confessed. I don't understand where these conspiracies are coming from. I know academics literally almost got in trouble with the court and had to rescind half the stuff he was saying because he was spreading misinformation. The fact that nobody was even checking for Tory Lanes before this Megan stuff. You know, Drake and Tory weren't even friends until um, Megan wouldn't give Drake play from what I see. And all of a sudden, he's Tory Lanez's biggest fan. It's actually really sick. And we need to actually talk about what's going on in the community. But let's get in this, right? Um, Megan was leaving. Here's the part that's sick for Kim, where it's like, Kim, you knew what you were doing. You're recording it. You were helping Drake. You guys were working together. I wouldn't be surprised if Kim and Drake come out in a couple. Think about it. Kim's thirsty and she needs somebody to stand next to her. Whenever anybody of social standing won't stand next to her, what does she do? She goes back to the rap community, right? Drake needs publicity. If you think about it, Drake's been doing this mess since 2000 or whenever, right? Every time his album comes out, he courts controversy. He creates a beat. He does this. How does he have something? Don't come in my comments saying, she Megan, stop being stupid. Megan thought he was talking to her. Drake never cleared anything up. Stop it. Like, stop it, y'all being naive. But let's actually get back into this, right? So Drake has always used publicity to sell. Kanye said it too. It blew up in Kanye's face. We all know that. It looks like it blew up in Drake's face too. Think about it. Condé Nast put on an injunction saying, don't use our mess. Don't use Vogue. We don't want to be associated with you. But two, this Megan thing, you knew what that line was doing. You knew the double Achandre, which can mean but one or both things. You knew people were gonna go crazy. You thought that you would use a woman's name for clout, her being brutally assaulted. You thought you would use that for clout and then somehow the album and it's blown up in your face because now people are realizing just how corny you have been. It just so happened back then. You was always doing this mess, but there were bigger monsters to fry. Not everybody's sitting back and thinking about it. It's been like, wait, you always been that guy. And please, if you got people under 18, please check their IDs before they go near them. But back to Kim and Miss Social Justice Warrior and the people that are so down on Megan Thee Stallion often say, Kim Megan was leaving a pool party at Kylie Jenner's house when the bang bang occurred, right? Um, Tory Lanez immediately came out to say she was lying. It did not escape my attention that a day or two after it was found out that Megan was shot, Kylie literally posted something on her Instagram with her foot out. A lot of people thought that was shade about her sh showing her feet when Kylie ain't never shown her feet in the world, but whatever, right? There's been a lot of speculation that Megan's been lying. However, 
um megan said herself in some kind of way i became the villain i don't know if people don't take it seriously because i seem strong i wonder if it's because of the way i look it is is it because i'm not light enough is it because i'm not white enough am i not the shape the height because i'm not petite do i not seem like i'm worth being treated like a woman Megan spoke out about Drake's new release, accusing him of using her shooting for a clout as she responded to him on Twitter. Again, if Drake did not mean for that to be about Megan, then why did Drake, Mr. Love Publicity, not come out and clarify? Now Drake wants to stay silent when Drake got something to say about everything else. He, Megan said, I know I'm very popular, but y'all gotta stop attaching weak A conspiracy theories and bars to my name, LOL, ninjas, or who ever addressed me or at me with a fact or receipt. I'm a, uh, I am clout. And then she says some other stuff. She says, stop using my shooting for clout, BA ninjas. Since when the F is it cool to joke about a woman getting shot, you ninjas, especially rap ninjas, are lame ready to boycott shoes and clothes but dog calling a black woman when she says all her homeboy all that your homeboy literally hurt her she said and when the mf facts come out remember all y'all bleep a favorite rappers that stood behind a ninja that shot a woman people attack me y'all go up for it i defend myself now i'm doing too much every time it never ends and this did not happen until I came out. And I said, I got, mm, y'all don't F with me. Okay, cool. Bye. Now, listen, there's been a letter of support. It came out with council people and all this other stuff supporting Megan. But for Kim, right? For Kim, the for Kim to literally put that song on her Instagram. And before y'all say, oh my God, it's not that deep. You guys, Kim herself had a whole episode complaining about people dragging her in that dumb ass flame outfit and apparently her mentally unstable husband who's divorced from reality picked out for her, right? For you guys to not think that Kim is not on her burner account, that she does not have her pulse on what's going on with media when this is her business, you guys understand that billion dollars that y'all swear she's worth, this is her business. Do you understand how stupid and ridiculous it is that some of y'all really think that Kim's like you on her break going on Instagram and not paying attention to what's going on. They have lawyers, PR people, spin people that literally make the post, approve the post, think about the pros to make sure that there can be nothing offensive in there and to make sure the message that's supposed to come out comes out. And now y'all really think that she just happened to post a song that Drake made mocking the woman that got almost mortally injured while she was at your at your little sister's leaving your little sister's party come on y'all y'all can't be this dumb y'all i know not y'all but people can't be this dense right and thank god i'm not the only one that notices that they said kim reposted a video of herself um that had been shared by her hairstylist chris appleton which used circle local as the company music while the snippet didn't include the line about Megan, many of Kim's followers felt that it was irresponsible and problematic for her to use the track in any capacity. Why? Because Kim compares herself to women's rights, women's advocates. Remember when she said she's doing contracts so she knows about Roe versus Wade? Tick Tick didn't even know that Roe versus Wade is under constitutional law, but let's continue, right? They said, Kim reposting a Drake song that has lyrics making fun of Meg the Stallion getting shot is problematic. Again, another person said there's no excuse for Kim here. <laughs> excuse me. I love Kim, but she has to be more responsible. People that are saying otherwise are being weird. I feel bad for Meg. Others pointed out that Kim would likely be well aware of the controversy. And as the shooting happened at Kylie's party, Someone said it's beyond F, especially since Meg was leaving a party at Kylie's when it happened. F Kim. Another person said Meg the Stallion got shot. Kim don't GAF. And the crazy thing about it is that Kylie was with Megan the night prior to her getting shot. Not the night prior, an hour prior to her getting whatever. She only cares about engagement and clout. Somebody said, especially considering Kim's own terrifying experience with gun violence. Woo! That was also bought up. 
They said Kim wanted everybody to cry for her and be sympathetic about that. However, when a woman is victimized by a man you need to use for clout, that all goes out the window. Let me tell y'all something. When it comes to Drake, when it comes to Kim, when it comes to most celebrities, it seems like everything's for sale, right? They're just looking at us to say how much the cost is. Everything is on for sale. And as one person said, this is a good point. If this happened to Kim, people would change their tune. And somebody said that Kim lied about getting robbed in Paris, everyone in here will be pissed off and rightfully so. They said people in here don't care about a black woman getting, and Kim is reposting a song on her page that has the words that the woman getting shot lets somebody post a song about Kim being robbed or whatever and see how that tune changed. You guys, let me tell y'all something. Yeah. Ain't nothing. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, but yeah. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.